Okay, let's do something a little bit closer to a tutorial this time. <laughs> I think uh, this hand would be b best for the hand over there. So we could go here. Like this. Again, I will set the image boundary. And something that I need to say is that, of course, I have configured my keyboard shortcuts. For example, layers here at the end, there is toggle layer visibility, which I find very useful. And now let's see. Switch into warp tool, again some pretty big size. Even bigger than that. Here we go. Um here's the thing that I wanted to say. What you can do in the warp mode. You can switch between images. You can toggle layers visibility, but you cannot uh, switch to any other layer. You even when you switch to another image, there you can you cannot switch to another layer. But you can still switch between tabs. I hope I didn't forget anything. And what I found out is <coughs> that you can uh, that you don't need to do any screenshots. Instead. Um, let me do this thing, and then I'll show you. Well, it's fine. Now hands are from this, from the model that I, I mean the conversion that I didn't do. It was the original conversion by whoever did it. Okay, it's time to, I guess it's time to apply this warp transform. And we'll do it by again hiding all the layers. So I will duplicate this image and I can do this. Duplicating because I want to remember which layers were there. And uh, then I'll hide all the other layers in front of it. And now it's the only one. Now I can go edit, copy, visible. Aha, uh -huh. it likes to hang. Sometimes, especially when I open menus. Okay, it has copied, and I'll paste it into as another layer. 
new layer and hit enter to apply the transformation. What? Okay. Oh, now it has finally applied because I need to hit enter while this being in focus. Being focus. Okay.